All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, the weeks, the weekends. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. His word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the most high God's done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship him. Thank him. Praise him. Call on him. Sing a song to him. Hearken to his word. Hearken to his voice. Trust him in everything you got going on in your life. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, lift each other up. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs. The brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations and hardships for his namesake. Stay strong, steadfast, firm, and encouraged. Your brothers and sisters of the faith are going through it with you as well. The Messiah is with us always forever to the end of age. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kings, all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new creatures of Christ out there, all the born again people, the Holy Spirit filled people. God bless all believers, all walk of life, most definitely. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you also. Anybody who's having dreams, encounters, visions, testimonies, God bless you also. If you did not repent and get baptized, Go repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the most high God, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him, rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, crowd to him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you have to do for the most high God. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit and truth, amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stay on our purpose and calling for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let us get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situations, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the Most High God. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, observances, everything. Get a five-subject notebook. Get a pack of 24 pens. Get a Bible and write a whole copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy, by the jot, by the tittle, by the line, by the precept, and keep it all together for the most high, y'all. Keep embracing that new covenant, most definitely. So I hope that you all had a blessed week, blessed weekend, and better days ahead, all right? Some crazy times probably 
a lot going on in your world, in your life, or a lot going on in the world, obviously, but let your personal life get better for the Lord and know that he loves you. He restored you, redeemed you. He keeps on interceding for you, okay? So always stay encouraged, all right? And press forward, people, okay? Now, today's message, what I love to do is go through today's day of devotion on the email. And then from there, I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right, here we go. Today's daily prayer is based on Psalm 14, verse 1. And this starts off with another scripture of, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, verse 24. Amen. Devotion based on Psalm 31. How wonderful it is to know that we have a safe haven, a refuge to conceal and protect us, to guard and to heal our hearts. When we trust God and look to him for shelter, he promises to deliver his goodness, and that includes bestowing his blessing onto us. As you bring your thoughts and feelings to God tonight, allow your mind and your heart to trust completely in him. Imagine his presence filling your room, surrounding you with his mercy and love. Remember, he is the all-powerful one who knows you, sees you, and sustains you through the night. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will always be by your side. As you read tonight's psalm, ask him to speak to you through his word and reveal his truth to you. Acts Reflection Adoration God's word can be a source of comfort for you tonight. Worship the Lord as your rock, your fortress, as one who upholds and protects you through the darkness of this night. Confession Think of something or someone in your life that you have put in the place of God. Confess this to him and ask for his forgiveness as you realign your priorities. Ask him to help you worship him only and to help you put him above all else. Thanksgiving. Think of times when you've experienced God's faithfulness and difficulties and thank him for his deliverance. Praise him for being the one true source you can always count on. Supplication. Father, I can so often get overwhelmed by the circumstances and stressors in my life. I come to you now and ask you to be my refuge. Cover me with your faithful love and help me to be strong and courageous through the power that is mine through you. I praise you for being my rock, fortress, and deliverer whom I can always trust. All glory be to you. Amen. What if the trials you are going through right now are actually a step into your greatest days of prosperity and blessing? Amen. Scripture. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is no one who does good. Psalm 14, verse 1. The prayer. Oh God, I want to rejoice as someone who firmly believes in your salvation. While fools may deny you, I will rest with assurance, with assurance in the truth. The days bring trouble and the world has struggles, but I will find my rest in you. The night is long, but the morning song will come like fresh dew. I want to fall asleep with a smile covered by the warmth of your embrace. So give me faith, ease my mind, and steady my breathing as I drift. Keep my heart from cynicism and bitterness. Envelop me with your love and tenderness. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. All praise to the most high God of heaven and earth. Yes, he's the God of Shem. Praise him, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the Lord of the army. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God. He is the God of David. Praise the most high God. His only begotten son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. The almighty, true, and living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is the King of Israel. Amen. He is the King of Kings. Hallelujah. 
He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, King of the ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, my rock, my fortress, my refuge, my good fortress, my mighty fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my safety, my defense, my deliverer, my salvation, my redeemer, my helper, our protector, our safety, our defense, our provider forever. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshaya, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Baraka, Fa, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, could cure all things, heal all things. He is the carpenter, could fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. Go fix your situation right now in images. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. They could do for you. Abide in him and abide in his word. Ask the Father what you need in his son's name and shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, help, comfort, double portion, blessings, favor in your life. I speak favor your life forever. Most definitely things going in your direction, in your favor. Things align the right way and things are in due time. And I, pre I preach that over your life forever. Most definitely we touch and agree in the son's name always forever. We are in agreement. The father, son, Holy Spirit, God is one. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. Most definitely our faith has saved us. Our faith has made us well. Our faith is how we overcome the world. We walk by faith and not by sight. We're justified by faith in a Messiah. Most definitely the justified are always going to live by faith. We justify, we're always going to be justified by the Messiah. Most definitely. Praise him always. He is an on time God. His perfect time in God, due time and the most high God is people. You gotta hang in there, stay strong, people. Most definitely keep keep your heart strong, people. Always forever, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of heavens. Yes, he straightened out the crooked path, he straightened out the crooked things. Praise him. Yes, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great. God, our Savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the life giver, the abundant life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the tabernacle, the perfect sacrifice, most definitely the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word, the word of Yahusha, the word of Yehosha, but the word of Yehovah, hallelujah, praise the most high God forever. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double source, the book of Hebrews says. I mean, we touch and agree. The Messiah is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is a sinless high priest, the everlasting king. He is the way everlasting. Repent and get baptized. Forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. Write a copy of the Torah. Be blessed for the Lord our God. Let's circumcise our hearts before the Lord our God. Prayers are for all peoples, all walks of life. Prayers are for all the poor people, all the widows, all the orphans, all the fatherless, the tribe of Levi. Prayers are for sojourners, the foreigners, the strangers, the aliens. Prayers up for everybody. Prayers are for the babies, the children, the young boys, the young girls, the teenagers, the young men, the young women. Prayers are for all the adults. Prayers are for all the senior citizens. Prayers up for all the elders out there. Yes. Prayers up for people who are sick in the hospital or trial in court and jail and prison. Prayers up for anybody out there in any circumstance situation. Prayers up for single people, married people, divorced people, widowed people, separated people. Prayers up for single parents, co-parents, and prayers up for all marriages, all relationships, all households, forever, all countries, most definitely. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I'll bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.